in 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 the back scene. Okay, um, I know a lot of people want to hear from you. They want to talk to you. Hey, man. First of all, it was it's awesome to have you here today. But it was so freaking great to spend time with you uh, in Miami. Uh, what a couple months ago. That was that was awesome. That's the first time we've met personally. I've been a fan and a follower for a long time, so it was awesome to like meet you and see you in your environment on stage. Like it was it was insanely cool. So I appreciate you having me out there. Well, thank you. And man, you were such a great addition to the 10x Growth Con. I mean, you added that piece. You know, between me, I'm 59 years old. How old are you? Uh, 37. Yeah. So I mean, you you have access. You you just grew up at a different time than I did. Yeah. So, I mean, you're te- I'm learning so much from you, Russell, about how to market, how to promote, and even how to sell. Like, we had 24 speakers at the 10X Growth Con. If you weren't there, if you're just joining on Facebook, buddy, when you were doing your pitch, I was writing down step by step. Like, <laughs> and I consider myself like one of the smartest people on selling on the planet. <laughs> but dude, the way you, your steps, your process is so freaking brilliant. Thank you. And, and I'm hoping today that you're going to be able to tell me more. You know, you're going to be able to lay that out for me in the new book. Yeah, I would love to. In fact, it's kind of, I don't know if you even know this yet. So in the book, I actually go slide by slide by slide through my presentation. So it's like the entire structure of what I did is in the book, uh, which is kind of cool. So yes. And the funnest thing, my favorite thing about speaking with your audience is like everyone there is like loves sales. And so sometimes I speak and people don't appreciate the selling part of it. And your people were just like so cool because all of them were like, that was the coolest sales pitch ever. It was fun to be in like a group of my people, I felt like. It was really, really yeah, cool. Hey, and I love the way you ask for permission, right? You ask my audience for permission. Hey, can I show you my pitch? You know, can I, can I actually pitch you my product? And they're like, yeah, please do. Yeah. <laughs> but, awesome. but but like like learning that one piece from you in your presentation, watching you live on a stage and learning that piece, that one piece, literally I wrote in my book, I have it right here. This is my 10X journal. I'll keep it with me. And the thing I wrote down is like that one thing, asking for permission is one of those secrets, man. It's one of those things that just, you know, it's a little, it was a little bit below my awareness and I wasn't using it. And when you said it, I'm like, this could be worth four or $5 million to me. Yeah. No, so I think tell, me, tell me about the new book, man, as we have people coming in. Yeah. And real quick on that, like most people get scared and they transition from like content to selling. And that like for me is like the easiest transition point. So, um, all right. So the new book, oh, I'm so excited. This is like, been, uh, and you've written a lot. I mean, you, you're an amazing writer. Like, you know, how hard to write books for me. Like this is my second book and it was like pulling teeth. It took me almost two years to write. And, uh, but it's all about that. Like how do us as people, because like we all have products and services we're selling, right? But like, how do we position it in a way, uh, position, position ourselves in a way where like people are going to buy. And I don't think it's hard typically to sell somebody something once, like most of us can do that. But the whole premise of this book, Expert Secrets, is like how to build a mass movement of people who pay you for your advice. I want people who come into my world and then they buy again and again and again and again. And you don't do that by just having the best sales technique. It's by building a, a mass movement, building a culture of people who uh, who respect you, who love you, who are like waiting for your next thing. And so that's what this whole book kind of goes deep into is that process of how you do that, how you position yourself. And then, uh, and then like half of the book is me walking through like how we craft our presentation to sell any product or any service in the world. And it's uh, so much fun. Yeah. And, and Russell, look, I mean, the value that you add people, first of all, you know, the guts that you have to be advertising every day on Facebook and, and the other platforms, it takes guts. I mean, I, people tell me, man, it takes money to make money. I'm like, no, it takes guts and it takes commitment. Mm-hmm. So the fact that Russell, you put your money you know, you put your face on stuff like you're out there. You take the time to write a book like this. People don't understand the time, the money, the resources, the commitment. Uh, wh- why? When you title a book, and, and I know like you're a real deal dude. So when you say expert secrets, I don't think that that's just come on lines. I know there's some guys out there that just use titles. But h- how do I go from amateur to expert? on the internet where, where there's so much distance sometimes between me and a buyer? Yeah, it's, um, that's a great question. It's, um, you know, when I, when I was writing the book, I was like studying a lot of things. Like, I was trying to figure out like, how do people create mass movements? Right. And I was looking, I was studying everything from like the super negative side of this whole conversation, like 
think about like Hitler and the Nazi party. And then like the super positive, like Christ and Christianity, then like all the stuff in between where you've got, you know, Steve Jobs with Apple and Tesla with Elon Musk. And then watching you, Grant, watching me, like, how do we all do these things? I started looking like the patterns and there's similar patterns in every single one of these movements that, that are happening. And uh, in fact, the first three chapters in the book are about that. Like there's three things that every mass movement has. And as soon as I became aware of it, then it was like, now that I know what these things are, like I can, I can man, man, I don't know, manipulate the right word, but I can, I can affect those things. And so I was doing this research about two years ago at the time we launched our software company. And when I was launching, I'm like, honestly, what we sell is a software product. Like it's not that sexy, but I was like, if I can create a movement behind it where it's not just, it's not just me selling something, but it's, there's something bigger than that where it inspires people. Like what would be different? And, and I, and kind of with that idea and with that, this framework of the expert secrets, we went out and we launched a software company with this as like this concept, like everything we taught in this book, like um, using this to, to launch it. And we grew, and right now, uh, I believe we are the fastest growing non VC backed software company in the world. And it's because of like this concept, like positioning, posturing it. How do you, how do you actually sell things like that? And so this book is kind of cool because it walks you through it. Here's the three things every mass movement has. But let me show you inside of when we launched our company, here's, here's the 12 things we did to make this happen. And then this piece of it, here's the next things and we go piece by piece by piece. And so you can see, you hear the concept, then you can also look at it and be like, man, I can replicate that in my company. Like, uh, one good example, uh, from the book, every, every mass movement, I'll show you this right here. And those who read my books, I doodle everything out. I'm a doodler. Um, um, so right here, this is, a. Uh, this is like every mass movement has these three things. There's a, there's a charismatic leader, there's a future-based cause, and then there's a new opportunity. And like, just one example is like the future-based cause. Like you hear that and you're like, well, how does that actually work? And I look at inside of our company, we, we created this thing called the two comma club where anyone who has a sales funnel and makes at least a million bucks. We give them this huge award, this big old gold record, like this big with big two commas in it. And it's like this huge thing. And so we, um, at our last event, we gave away, I think 89 of these two comma club awards to people. And what happened is like our movement all saw that and they're like, Oh my gosh, like I, I want that. I want to be able to have that award. I want to be on stage next time. And what's cool is it's created this huge culture where like all these people now are all moving towards this goal collectively together inside of our company, inside of our products. And it's inspiring them to buy more and to do more. And it's just one little piece that we kind of break down inside the book. So it's- Dude, I, I want the award. I need to get my own album. <laughs> so, so look, man, cause when I watch you, man, I, it's so simple what you do. Like when I look at you, I see a guy that's willing to be self deprecating. And I think you talk about the attractive character. Yeah. Is the self-deprecation like, like, cause you'll be like, yeah, I'm not the smartest guy in the room. I, I wasn't the best student. Like, like you do that. Like, I don't know if that's true about you or if that's just a come on thing or it makes people comfortable. Is that important to do? Because I see how I completely miss that in my marketing, you know? <laughs> no, I do, dude. So, so like, 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 when I watch you, man, I learn so much. Like even in this interview. Uh, well, it's it's because yes, yeah, so the whole section about attractive character, and it's funny. I actually learned that concept from a dude who is a, a pickup artist, and he told me he was like, he's like, yeah, I, and he trains other men how to get how to get girls, and he's like, look, if you want to get a, a woman to come to you, what you have to do is you have to position yourself as an attractive character, and like he said, the same thing is true in business, like. People aren't going to come give you money if they if if they don't like you. Like, how do you connect with those people? And so, there's a big thing like understanding that, and then like, okay, I'm an architect. What my what my character is, and sometimes like, like my character is more like the reluctant hero, like kind of making fun of myself. Yours is different. Nothing wrong between the two, but having a character that's out there that people bond with is the key, right? And yeah. so it's like, this is how this is me. This is Russell, and I'm not. I mean, this is who I am. But I'm sharing things that people will connect with because again, I don't want to just make one sale. I want to I want to get somebody in, and I want them to buy from me over and over and over again. And they're going to do that not based on like the product I sell. They're going to do it based on the relationship with me. And that's, that's what I found over the last 10 years of doing this is like, that's the key. So if, if I understand that they're buying the relationship and they're going to keep buying because of the relationship, I've got to connect with people at a different level that I can't really do if I'm just like selling the product and burning and churning and moving through people. Yeah. So, so, and, and man, how important Russell, and I really, really appreciate it. I know I have people are going to have a lot of questions on Facebook today. So if you have a question, post in comments, I'll try to serve it up to Russell. How important, how important is it to have a product line? Uh, so, so that you can actually saturate your following with product. Yeah. Uh, delivering something else to them. Yeah, it, it's important. In fact, oh, it's so cool. So in the book, I talk about what, like the third thing every mass movement has is what I call a new opportunity. And what I found is like, 
Um, a lot of people will try to sell what we call, we call them inside our, our company improvement offers. Where I'm trying to help you make you better or smarter or like, help people improve. And the problem with selling improvement is that people, first off, most people are not ambitious, right? Like we all have desires, but we're not ambitious. And so only like one or 2% of the world have ambitions. And so if you're selling like, improvement, like only one or 2% of people are going to buy your thing. So it's, it's yeah, really, really hard. That's the problem with my products. <laughs> yeah, it's all ambition. Yours. And so what we structure, we call it a new opportunity. So how do you create a new vehicle, new opportunity for people to buy that that's not going to, that they, they, if they, if it's structured and we go through deep in the book, like how to do it, be structured different it's a new opportunity, then they're going to step into that. And so um, typically what happens is the very first product I sell someone is what I call an opportunity switch. So we all know that our customers, they want something, right? They're going for this end result over here. And right now they're in some vehicle to get that. So if I'm in weight loss, like I'm in a vehicle, let's say I'm in the Atkins diet, I'm trying to get that result and I'm not happy. If I come and I tell them like, hey, I'm going to give you uh, the Atkins diet's good. I'm going to make this a little bit better. You're like, Atkins diet sucks. It's not working for me. So I have to come and say, look, that vehicle you're in, the Atkins diet sucks. Let me give you a new opportunity. Here's a new vehicle to get you that end result. And I give them that new vehicle and they're like, oh, this is awesome. So for me, the very first offer I sell someone is what I call an opportunity switch. I'm switching you from the current thing you're doing to try to get that result to this new thing. And after I've switched them out to that new thing, then everything else I sell is what I call an opportunity stack. So now that you are, are in this, in my world and, and like for me, it's funnels, right? So now that I've, pre, I've convinced you that funnels are the greatest thing in the world. Now my product line are what we call opportunity stack. So it's not shifting. It's not moving them. It's not switching them to new thing over and over and over again. It's saying, look, you agree that funnels are the greatest thing in the world. And then for me, it's like, okay, well, we have a funnel certification program. So if you love this vehicle, here's this other cool opportunity within that, or here's, um, you know, my, my, my coaching pro or everything else is kind of in there, but it is important to have a product line. Otherwise people can't keep buying from you unless you have more things for them to continue to buy. So Russell, are you going to help like you in your book? Are you going to help me figure out what those symbiotic products are? Cause that's what I'm hearing. Pro like a hand, the glove, the mitten, the, the, the jacket, you know, the things that go in that lineup. Do you help me do that? Yes. Yeah. In fact, I think it's chapter four. I think we start talking about that and walking everyone through like, Okay, first offer, opportunity switch. Now we got that. Now what's the next logical thing that somebody needs? What's the next opportunity stack we give them? And then kind of walking through that whole process through a, a thing I call the value ladder. It's like, because for me, it's not just selling people stuff. It's like taking them through a process that gives them more value at every phase of the relationship. Just like when you go on a date the first time with, with, a, with a girl, right? Like the first relationship is, is date. If they receive value, then the girl wants a second date. If they receive value, then it keeps moving forward and eventually you get married and like everything happens. Same thing with the customer. Like you got to, the first interaction, like you, you make the experience amazing. They get value and they naturally want more. And then, yeah, then you start stacking those things in the right uh, strategic order. And then people just keep coming and, and ascending. So, and how do people get the book? Yeah. So the book again, right now uh, we're doing a campaign because we just launched it uh, like 12 hours ago. And so um, I'm covering all the cost of the printing of the books and we're just charging people shipping. So I think it's like $7.95 in the US shipping. And uh, the link, I think the link is in the comments, right? Yeah, the links in the comments is expertsecrets.com slash grant is a special link for you guys. And basically, like I said, you pay $7.95 shipping. We'll give you the book for free. And uh, that, that uh, offer is available right now while we're doing this kind of rollout, uh, getting this in as many hands of as many people as possible. Okay, so, so, so Russell, now everybody's aware of the funnel today. Everybody knows, hey, there's a funnel. There's something free. Something comes in behind free. Mm -hmm. I'm telling my guy, Jared, I'm like, Jared, let's just go ahead and tell them Right. Because you're, you're doing a combination, dude, of, 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 of funnel and social. Right. Yep. I don't know what the word is. Is it social funnels? <laughs> we should, we should, we should, we should, we should coin that. Yeah. <laughs> what I've been telling Jared is look, look, I'm, I'm, I'm doing a free thing. Everybody's got something free. They have to be able to give out to the public. Right. Yeah. So, so is there a chance that you could just go ahead and tell people when they get the free book? Just preeminate the funnel and say, what, what is going to follow up the free book? And then what do, what are you going to do for people after that? Because I know my audience, uh -huh. these are maniacs. These are committed entrepreneurs that want to 10 X their business. They're so, so committed. And so I, I think a lot of my audience is willing to know right now, what else do you have for them right now? Other than just the free book. Cool. Yeah. Well, so when you go through the process, I always tell people like, because my world is funnels, right? Like, there right now, dude, or is it too soon? Like from a marketing standpoint? No, I think it's, <laughs> I think it's great. Um, so this is kind of like uh, the magician, you know, like you see him doing stuff and you don't watch their hands and you see the magic trick. So this is like, we're gonna let you guys watch the magician's hands. So this is my world is funnels. Like I spent a lot of time crafting and designing, architecting this funnel. Right now, 
just so you guys are complete transparency for every book that we sell on average, we're making $40 uh, instantly. And over the next uh, little while, it's a lot more than that. So if you watch, like I always tell people, like buy the product slow. Like there's also for every book you give away or every book you sell. Uh, it's free plus shipping. So every book we we sell for free. You said for every book you sell, but you're giving the book away. Yes, we give. Yeah, so every book we give away, we're making forty dollars. Uh, uh, yeah, I think thirty nine eighty right now is our is our average. Okay, so for explain that because I, I think I think some people because uh, I got some comments in. Why does everybody talk so fast? <laughs> Hurry. We're so excited. No, no, it's because we're in a hurry. Most of us are on, you know, we're on really tight timelines, but just explain what you mean when you give a book away and somebody pays the shipping $7.95. How did you magically come up with 40 bucks? Cool. So as you go through this funnel, again, I would recommend buying it slowly so you can see the whole process. But when they first come in, when you first come in, you get the offer for the free book. And then uh, you put in your information for where to ship the book. And then on the second page, you're going to have two opportunities. Either get just the book. Or we got this really cool offer called the, our black box, which gives you both of my books plus uh, I think four other booklets and a bunch of other really cool stuff. And so um, right now about 29% of people are upgrading and getting the whole black box. They want both of the books because they both go hand in hand together. Um, and so there's one uh, thing. And then we have on the page what we call an order form bump, which is basically we have uh, one of our courses. Uh, you get two courses for the price of one uh, on the order form if you want to buy one of those. Uh, one of them is our story selling product, which teaches people how to tell stories in a way that converts people into buyers. And then the second one is a course on how to create a product really, really quickly. So you get both those courses for the price of one, all on the order form. Then after you buy that, then on the next page, we give a special offer. Well, actually, I don't know if I have it here or not. Uh, I recorded the audio book of both of these, which, by the way, I listened to your audio book on my flight home the other uh, two days ago. So I know it goes into recording audio books. <laughs> it's a pain. Yeah. I recorded both these as an audio book and um, we give that away for free when people order our uh, our webinar. Our perfect It's called our perfect webinar system, which is how we, we craft our, our presentations. It's all the PowerPoint slides. It's all the training on how I do what I did at your event, how we get on stage and give a presentation that converts people into to sales. When they buy that course, we give them 50%, 50% discount on the course and I give them the MP3 player with both audio books for free. Uh, so that's that's the upsell. And from that little funnel right there is how uh, when people are taking the other offers in the funnel, that's we're averaging about, again, just shy of $40. So, so what is the most money I could spend if I, if I rushed myself through the funnel and <laughs> um, bought everything right now, what would I end up, what would I end up buying? Because the last thing on the next page is we offer a uh, six month account of click phones for a thousand bucks. If you buy everything, I think it's 1400 bucks ish. Yeah, you buy everything right now. So look, look, here's the deal, folks. He's being transparent with you. Okay. You guys are like, oh my God, I'm going to get hit with a funnel. No kidding. Like, come on, man. Everybody knows you're going to get hit with a follow up. And by the way, the only people that would regret that, resent that, or bitch about it are people not doing it. <laughs> Russell is showing you what you should be doing. When you get too much follow up from me or Russell, I, I was in your funnel the other night, dude. I got hit with three emails in three minutes. <laughs> I love this guy. <laughs> this this is commerce. It is the it is proper marketing. It is legal, legitimate, and necessary to take somebody that doesn't know you, make them know you. These are the expert secrets, folks. Like them or don't like them. So, Russell, what did you discover re when you were writing this book? I know you discovered something that you were like, ah, oh, because I'm sitting here taking notes, bro. <laughs> you just, yeah. You're like, aha, this is a $10 million concept right here. Oh, so there's a lot of them, honestly, because I was, I was writing this book as I was building our software company. So it's like, I learned something. I'm like, huh? So we go and we try it and we see this huge, like this huge increase. I'm like, all right, it's going in the book. Can we do it? And then the next thing in like, so this is like the playbook that I was writing as we were building up our, our software company. So it's kind of uh, really fun. But I think the biggest thing is, um, I had a chance to hang out with this guy and he, uh, his name is Michael, ha uh, Michael Haig. And he's one of the, he, uh, he works with screenwriters in Hollywood. Yeah. I know Mike. I hang out with this guy and he starts mapping out. He says, do you realize that almost like every successful movie from the beginning of time till now all follows the exact same script? I'm like, no, it doesn't. He's yeah. like, yeah, it doesn't. He walked through this process called the hero's two journeys. Yeah. And he took me on. It's like the journey of achievement that every, like every hero's going on. He showed me everything from like movie cars to Rocky Balboa to everything. They're going on this, journey of achievement. But he said, there's a second journey called the, the journey of transformation. Nobody sees, but we feel it. And at the end of it, we experience it. And he showed me this, 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 this path. And I was like, that's amazing. How do I use that to sell more stuff? And he was like, I don't know. 
I was like, okay. So, so I started like watching all these movies with that. And I actually sketched out a few um, in here. Uh, I sketched out, this is like hit what he taught me. I sketched it out. Like there's the hero's two journeys, all the pieces in the process. And I was like, that's cool. But how do I use that to like sell more products and inspire people and get them to do the right thing? And uh, in fact, there's, there's the full picture there. And so then the next chapter in this book, uh, I started testing it. Cause I was like, it's hard to tell a three hour long movie story. If I've got five minutes in front of somebody, how do I do that? And, uh, and I worked at it, I worked at it, and all of a sudden, like, I, I broke it down into this. Like, this is the Heroes 2 journey in a script that all of us can use. And it basically comes down to nine questions. And I go through these nine questions right now, and it, like, it tells a story in a way that shows everything that gets people to buy at the end. And what's cool is not only are we doing that, like, I shared this with uh, some of my inner circle, my highest, my highest and mastermind clients. And uh, one of them, what they did is they took this hero journey, and they went back to all of their success stories – and they had to fill out a form that went through these nine questions, which is like, what's your backstory? What's the thing? And they had all their successors fill out these nine questions, the same ones that are this script. And then they got on a Facebook Live with each one, just like we're doing right now. And then she just asked them, okay, so and they asked them question number one, question two, question three. And they went through all the nine questions. That person told their story in a way that was so emotionally impactful because it was exactly the way that you tell, like you tell stories in Hollywood, right? Told the story. And then at the end, it did a call to action for a course. And she started, uh, and what's interesting, the, the, the girl that did this, she, she's a fitness person and she works with like typically younger women. And so she found like a mom and had her mom tell her whole story through this, through this script. And then now they took that ad and ran it to all the moms. And now she never could sell to moms in the past. Now all these moms are coming to her. And then wow. she went and found another testimonial, asked the same questions and she's going and her market is just dramatically expanding as she's doing it. And so like, that was just like one nugget that's just oh, so cool. Friends, you're listening to Russell Brunson. He is a he is the master of this funnel space. Okay, he's talking to you today about opportunity switches, opportunity stacking, product permeation, how to build your product lineup. If you want to learn how to tell your story, okay, how to get the order form bump, what the black box is, how to go from how to turn a seven ninety five free offer to forty bucks a person. You need to get the book, okay? And by the way, he's going to give you the book free right now. You pay for the shipping. Be responsible for something. Have some sweat in the game. At least take care of the UPS or whatever the, the delivery mechanism is. Um, Expertsecrets.com, right, Russell? Slash grant. That's the special offer we said. Expertsecrets.com slash grant. And by the way, if if they wanted to hook up on everything you had right now, would they do that online or would they call you? Do you even uh, take phone calls, dude? Do you guys like take phone calls? Internet guys are scared of phones. No, we do. We uh, Yes, there's a way to call us. I don't know what the number is, though. So. <laughs> That's not like you, internet dudes. You're like, no, no, please don't call. Don't fix it either. <laughs> I don't know what to say on the phone. <laughs> and by the way, don't do it all now. Do it on the funnel, bro. <laughs> you know? So, so, look, this dude's a real deal, folks, okay? And the funnel's real. And the internet's real. Like it or don't like it. Okay. Self-deprecation. I need to be more self-deprecating. <laughs> I need to learn how to tell my story to be that character. I mean, we, Russell, when you watch me, what advice would you give me about, Hey dude, you just need to change this or that. I mean, I know you see some mistakes I make. <laughs> I would say, well, first off, like your, um, your presence when you step in a room and like when you step on stage is like, it's amazing. It's like Tony Robbins. Like when I worked with him, like same thing, you walk in a room, it's like, all right, Tony's on stage. Grant's on stage. Like, I love that. Only thing I would add for you is yeah. just like, um, not so self-deprecating, but like the more, because like I got to meet backstage and hang out backstage a little bit. And like, I, 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 uh, I've always respected you, but then I felt like I had like a uh, rapport with you as you yeah. shared more like your personal life and more like kind of breaking things down. I think um, I, there's a fine line of like the posturing and then like the, and then like coming through with like being super, um, uh, what's yeah, the word? Yeah. But it's yeah. just more connecting, more vulnerable. Yeah, the more the more of that, like share. I, I think. I mean, not that you need any help, but you're killing it. But like that'd be the only thing. No, is, like, no, no. I, I just think you know when I watch what you do, man. I was like, oh my god, I'm telling you, it, it blew my mind. I've I've only had like maybe three or four or five experiences in my life where I literally like, and I'm taking notes again. But but I was like, oh my god, man, if I did this in my business, I could literally twenty x my business. If I knew what you knew. Uh -huh. Yeah. That being, that being vulnerable piece is interesting. How, how like when, when someone comes to join my high end program, like they, they often, they go through a funnel and then the landing page 
is a video of me telling my story. I think I cry three or four times in it. And like when people call our offices, a few people do call, like they're always like in tears, like, man, like I, I believe in what he's, and like that vulnerability is like what bonds people to you. So they don't just buy once again, they buy over and over again. So yeah, it's interesting. Yeah, and I think I've made the mistake, you know, because I'm trying to, I'm trying to get attention and I'm trying to be the authority and the expert that, that I, that I just, and I didn't have a mentor to say, look, dude, you just need to take some of the edge off. I'm, I was in a hurry. I came from a poor background. So I'm trying to freaking like, I'm trying to shove as much as I can into that, that 10 pound bag. Right. Yeah. So having a guy like you map it out for me, all of you on Facebook right now, uh, expertsecrets.com forward slash grant expertsecrets.com. Russell will send you the book for free. Just take care of the shipping. And, uh, you got to figure this thing out, folks. Expertsecrets.com forward slash grant. Grab the book today. Okay. I know he's sending me a copy. I guarantee you his last book, by the way. Uh, the, 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 look, look at the notes I'm taking here. That's awesome. And I, and Russell, you know what I tend to do? I tend to read a guy over and over rather than a thousand people. Uh-huh. I pick one, I pick my magician. And you don't know it, but I picked you, dude. You're in my court. You know, I make you my Merlin. <laughs> that's awesome. And, and I use your book, man, to be to be my advice. So because I know you're not gonna take my phone call. <laughs> <laughs> if you text me, I'll text you back though. <laughs> okay, so so for the people that don't, for the people that, yeah, right. For the people that don't hook up today, give me one little thing that would cause them to say, you know what? I'm gonna stop and do this. I'm gonna go ahead and get it, even though I said I wasn't. My my bet is that people who don't get it is that they don't they don't look at themselves. I mean, in fact, that was my biggest fear of silence, expert secrets. People are like, well, I'm not an expert. That's not for me. Mm-hmm. And then when you go to the page, when you go to expertsecrets.com slash grant, what you'll see is I have 20 videos now, 20 stories of people who are just like you, who same thing. They, they didn't think they were experts at all, um, but they were passionate about something. So you look at, there's a story about uh, one, one woman who she's an energy healer and she did this. And then she like turned it into this big business. Someone who sold hot dog carts. And then he, and like he went through this process and now uh, his first year did $150,000 selling a book about how to start a hot dog cart business. Um, someone on real estate, fitness, dent, a dental guru, a chiropractic guru, like all these people who like, they just do what they do. And it's, it's hard because a lot of us, for us, like whatever we're amazing at, it's like second nature, right? Like, like for me, like looking at, I, I look at a product, I like, I can see the funnel, like it's just second nature to me. It doesn't seem that big of a deal, but for other people, it's a superpower. And like whatever it is you're really good at, you're discounting because you don't think it's worth that much. But for other people, like it can change their life. And so, if you look at that page, there's so many stories that I want to inspire you guys. Like, man, what if I, what if I was able to do that? And a lot of people are like, I'm super introverted. Like this is not typically me. I don't feel comfortable like getting myself out there, but I believe in my message so much. I, I've learned how to do that. And this book walks you through like how to do that. So even if you're like someone like me, who's not super outgoing, but you're more introverted, like it can work for you as well. It's just understanding like what you have can change someone's life. As soon as you understand that, then at least for me, it became a moral obligation. Like I got to figure out how to get this in as many people's hands as possible because I know what it's done for me and know what it can do for them. And I promise you, you guys have that same ability. Like there's stuff that you do that you know that'll change people's lives, and you just got to be willing just to try it out. And this book is the first step in that process: is understanding it and then being able to master it and then being able to to serve other people. Hey, look! If you're following me on Facebook, then you're here. And if you're here, I want you to go grab the book right now. Uh, expertsecrets.com forward slash grant expertsecrets.com forward slash grant expertsecrets.com forward slash grant you pay the shipping if you guys aren't happy with the book dude I'll pay you the shipping back I got eight dollars left over okay I'll pay you the eight dollars I bought a bunch of crawfish in Houston on my way home last night I put them on my plane flew them back they were 167 dollars no chance of ever making me any money and by the way they were terrible <laughs> so, if you guys, if you guys decide the book's no good, it's not for you, it's not relatable, it can't work, I'll give you the eight bucks back. Go right now, expertsecrets.com forward slash grant. Trust me on this, okay? Pay the seven ninety five. He'll send you the book for free, and 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 grab everything Russell's got. He's a real deal, dude. He's a Merlin. He's the Merlin. I'm telling you, the Merlin of the author's internet. Uh, Turn, turn, what was it called? Arthur's table or whatever. Oh, King Arthur's table. <laughs> Night, knights at the round table. Uh, Russell would be like the knights of the internet round table. <laughs> Funnel. 
I guess. Hey, brother, thank you so much for spending time with me today and introducing yourself and the book to the audience, okay? Awesome. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it. It's been so much fun getting to know you, and I appreciate you uh, letting me share my message. And excited for all you people to get this book. It's going to uh, – I can't wait for you guys to get it and see uh, how it can affect you and the people you serve as well. Expertsecrets.com forward slash grant. Hey, look, unleash the secrets of you being an expert. Get known. Get out of obscurity. Learn the opportunity switch. I'm coming right now. Opportunity stacking, permeation. Build your product landing. Russell will help you do it. Thanks so much for being here today. Thanks, man. Appreciate you. Okay, Russell, thanks. All right, bye, everybody. You guys grab that right now. Grab it and hook up.